All right, step one today. We start the bike build. And uh, the name of our project is uh, our little Italian rocket. And uh, we're gonna take you step by step through the build process. We're gonna start out first with uh, some uh, kind of uh, minor uh, tasks, um, you might say, in order to set up the build, which will be uh, filmed a little bit later this week. But I'm super excited about this. Uh, not going to give everything away straight off because uh, there's, um, yeah, there's a story behind it all, uh, as is typically the case. Um, but it should be fun. Hopefully, uh, we'll be successful in building this uh, race bike. And uh, hopefully, there'll be some good information shared. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. So today, uh, we'll be first filming the... Um, the first task that is going to be customization of the of the stem um, and I won't go into all of the background about uh, why that's uh, happening at this point in time we'll get to that eventually um, but I just want to talk about what the tasks are going to be and uh, show you the um, what we're going to use uh, for the customization of the the stem of the bike um, it is a uh, aero bike, and we'll take a look at that uh, as time goes on. But this is the stem. Um, let me see if I can uh, bring this into focus here. So uh, this is the stem um, as it uh, as it arrived. Well, almost as it as it arrived. Um, I've done uh, a few preliminary things to it, but as you can see, it's a unique piece. Um, it has a, a uh, clamp for the steering tube. It has a somewhat aero designed um, uh, section for holding the handlebars. And the most interesting thing I think for this particular headset is that uh, the section here is for internal cable routing. So the cables will be coming out of the handlebar and then into the ports on either side and then run back through here around the steering tube and into the uh, body of the frame. So uh, that's kind of cool. Um, now, I did say that I would get back into why we're going to customize this uh, steering tube. And uh, the reason for that is um, when I first saw this bike, it reminded me of a bike that I loved from, from quite a few years ago that uh, I always dreamed one day, if I could do it, I would get the, the Look 9, uh, I'm sorry, the Look 9, uh, why do I keep saying 9, 795. And part of the reason for that is because the stem was an extension of the top tube. And I just thought that was the coolest design frame I'd ever seen. This particular bike is not the look, uh, but we'll get to which, which frame it is. However, the frame that uh, we'll be working with is in an all Italian red. And uh, some of the models that were available have a matching red stem. And that, uh, to me, is a particular point that I fell in love with uh, years ago when, when I first saw um, the model of uh, the Look 795, which I think was 2015, if I'm not mistaken. But nevertheless, um, so that was one of the reasons. Now, the particular configuration of the, of the frame that uh, I eventually decided to purchase uh, did not come with a like painted stem. It came with uh, a black stem only. And uh, there, there's another story associated with that. It came with a 120 stem. Um, and fortunately, I was able to, uh, after a lot of work, because it's a limited production, uh, limited production um, frame set, but I was able to locate, with the help of the vendor in, in, um, uh, in the Netherlands, um, acquire a 110 stem, which is the typical size that, uh, that I ride, and I'll be more comfortable with it. So, but also the uh, 110 stem that was available was only in black. 
And so I've decided that uh, I'm going to take some influence from um, a YouTuber that I've been following for some time who's quite inspirational, quite a lot of fun to watch. And uh, his name is Martin Gray, and his, his channel is the Ito.de channel. And I would invite you uh, to go watch that, all about painting bike frames and bike uh, components and so on. So I've been inspired by Martin, and uh, we're going to take on the task of uh, painting the stem. We're going to come close to matching the uh, the red of the of the um, uh, the rest of the frame. So we have that continuous red theme uh, going from the top tube directly into the stem. But I thought I would, uh, as I usually do, um, sort of promote a little scope uh, creep here. And we're going to do a few other things. Uh, I've done a drawing uh, here. Maybe we can drill down on it just a little bit. Yeah. And so what we're intended on doing, let me flip it around so it almost simulates what we have. What I'm intending to do is we're going to actually have uh, three colors on the stem as it's uh, indicated in the drawings here. Um, we're going to uh, have the red, the Italian red, in most of the front coming across here. And then we're going to break away and come down a little bit just to give some more continuity of the red frame into the stem and uh, paint this uh, with an Italian red. I'll show you those paints in just a moment. And then uh, we're going to put a bit of a fine line here. And below that, we're going to do some hydrographic dipping in a black carbon, which I have here. So we'll be doing uh, hydrographic dipping of the stem once we prep it and get ready for that. And we'll be filming that as well. Then um, what I've done already is that there were some graphics uh, and I've taped those off now and those are in a bright red well, with a um, it looked like a water transfer uh, decal underneath this and now the stem has been finished it looks like in a 1k maybe a little better than that clear coat but um, uh, we'll, we'll be uh, we'll be sanding it down first we'll be applying the colors in the hydrographics and then we'll be finishing it up with a clear coat, but we're going to go high gloss on the clear coat. So it's going to be a 2K clear coat. And we'll be using uh, this product here, which uh, I was first introduced again by Martin in his, uh, his YouTube channel. And he has, uh, of course, he's a professional and he's been doing it uh, quite some time. So his results are spectacular. And again, I would invite you to go visit with uh, his channel, uh, ito.dk. But uh, in any case, um, that's how we'll finish it. So let me share uh, the paints that we're going to use. I, I, I also do some other types of projects where I do uh, custom painting. And uh, one of the paints that I've found uh, that I've had some success with is um, this brand, um, Tamika. And uh, so what we'll do is we'll start out with their primer. So as I mentioned before, I've already taped off the white graphics, which we will leave. And uh, those are indicated right here. So we've got three sections of white graphics right there, which we will leave because it's quite a nice uh, bright white. Then we will uh, next do this section down here. Now, as it is, it's a black finish on the on the carbon stem. And if we lay over a black um, film, that's a, a carbon, um, it will show up to some degree, but not 
uh, I would say, spectacular, and we're going for spectacular here. So this could be a mistake, but uh, I'm willing to give it a go. What we're going to then paint in this section here, down here, as a base coat will be this guy here, which is a Tamiya TS-45, which is, if I can stop shaking, a pearl white. Uh, I've used this color before and I was quite happy with the way it came out. So the interesting thing here, at least interesting to start off with, we'll see how interesting it is once the project is done, is that uh, we will first sand everything down. The next step will be to um, apply the base coat in this area right here, which will be the pearl white. The next step will be we will cut the, the black film, hydrographic uh, carbon film. We'll do the dip application. Then we'll come back and then apply the red after we line off with a fine line tape this section right here. Then we'll mask this which should have already been carbon dipped so we'll see the carbon quite graphically because of the white uh, base coat that it's laid over then this will be the red color and again I'm using the Tamiya and in this case uh, a pretty good match to the frame and this is Tamiya's uh, uh, TS-8 which is their um, Italian red. So I'm pretty excited to see how close that uh, color comes. In any case it'll be a one-off for sure and if we're fairly successful and we don't get, uh, eventually don't get toasted by, uh, by uh, Martin and uh, just scolded for doing all these things incorrectly, um, it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. So that's where we're going to start today. We've got uh, all the equipment. Uh, we've got the paints. We've got the hydrographic film in, in black carbon. We have the activator. Um, I'm uh, mentally prepared to do the dipping process, so that's all good. We even have a, a mask, a proper mask, um, to, uh, to do the painting, uh, but more importantly to do the activation on the hydrographic film. And uh, I'm guessing that this will probably take, um, take me a couple of days because I'm going to start today with uh, the sanding. And then um, we'll just take it from there. So with that, I'll end this first video. I'm excited to get started finally with the project. It's been uh, on top of my mind for a couple of months now. Um, it's been uh, good fun, uh, although a bit expensive, going through and, and uh, individually selecting all the components for this bike. I think it'll be interesting uh, for those people that are interested in uh, bikes and racing bikes in particular and uh, lightweight and aero uh, <laughs> racing bikes, which is uh, typically trending these days. Um, I, I'll mention that uh, I built my first bike uh, quite some time ago in uh, 1989. And uh, we'll probably get into that story at some point in time. But anyway, I'm excited about this uh, build. It will be unique. I think uh, we'll have an opportunity to discuss the selection of the individual components. And uh, if we're able to get this thing up on, uh, on uh, the website or on, uh, uh, on the Internet, in any case, uh, in some format, then we'll be able to also uh, take comments and questions and that type of thing, which is my intent. So, uh, those people that uh, have joined today for the first time, thank you. Uh, I look forward to, to the next step in, in the next film. So, take care. We'll see you soon.